G'day, g'day everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, in today's episode, we go up against the 16th place Essendon, who have only won one game. And they have lost their last five in a row, potentially six in a row, we can't really see that. And the only change to the team today was uh, Daniel Lloyd out due to suspension and Sam Reid comes into the team. Here we go, going up against Essendon at Giants Stadium in Sydney. Welcome to... Good looking stadium. Our team, as I said, Sam Reid comes Today's in under the bench for Daniel Lloyd, the only change. Their team, I mean, it's not a great team, but it's definitely a team that shouldn't be 1 and 6, I'll say that much. Merritt's playing his 150th. Do we have any? Yes, we do. The boys are back. Our confidence has grown. Imagine listening to Mark with 200 games. Go ahead and set the tone. So both teams have a milestone player. I'll be honest with you, I definitely would have thought Mumford would play more than 200 games, but I guess I was wrong. The umpire will ball it up. Taps it down. Ward puts on a big hit. Off from that. Zembros. Callum Wall take the free kick. Love to see it. Callum Wall lines up for his first of the game. Beautiful. We take a one goal lead. I was playing a game earlier today, just like just a little single match. Um, GWS versus Freo or someone. And um, they were beating us like seven points late in the game. And Australia at the middle here, they're on. Bad bounce though. And they're beating us by like, yeah, seven points or something. And Josh Kelly gets a free kick in the centre square. Like, late, like deep. And, um, and I thought stuff at one, I'd go for the barrel. And I absolutely torped it. It was longer than Jaden Stevenson's. It was probably from like, great tackle. It was from probably like where Tip and Woody is now, just like a tiny bit further back, but with a bit of wind helping me towards like our way. And I kicked the snag to get it back to just one point as Tanner Bruin. I was in Jimmy's. Hogan, Jesse Hogan, you selfish dog. Um, and then Tanner Bruin picked like Mark on like in line with the goalpost and I went back and snapped it again with a bit of wind help because the wind pushed it back in. And then we took the lead, and then there's no more scoring. We won the game, so two awesome goals to win us the game. Lindley, they're just moving it through the middle here. As I say, they go towards the wing. Find Stringer. He just goes deep. Davis doesn't manage to take the mark, and Wright does. So Wright will line up for Essendon's first of the game. And he kicks the snag. Absolutely slots it. Essendon's first of the game there. Umpire ready to right. Had it, lost it. Oh, that's not ideal. But Keith should be able to run onto it. Keith and he does. It yeah, it's holding the ball. Shit. The I didn't want to handball it over my head because I always just go straight to the person What's chasing you. And then I went to turn and he tackled me. So not ideal. But Laverde will line up for Essendon's second of the game and they'll give him a lead. With five points, the cameraman is. Well, the camera's just gone straight through his body, I guess. Back with Uses it by foot. Pushes oh, off the three marks, that to be honest with you. Wins possession. First touch for Get there, Kelly, that's yours. Winning the ball in the air with Marked by Heppel. Gets it away. hands over the top to Zaharakis, who chips it over the top to Tip and Woody, who will now line up to give Essendon an 11 point lead. And he kicks it. An 11 point lead for Essendon here. Not too long left in the first quarter. Langford, I believe their number four is, if I'm correct. He's hit the post. And it was 13 point lead for Essendon going into quarter time. Not a great first quarter there from us. Essendon were definitely much better. With the possession, 67% to 33. He just belted it long and it's worked out. Yeah, Kelly just happened to be right there. I did not want another stuff up deep in there, 50. Canelio goes up and he's dropped it. Canelio. Oh. That would have been a, not a bad mark there on the wing. Kick it, please. Tackle him up, don't just bump him. That is bowl, umpire. How can you not be given that, mate? 
Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. On the line, we've got Sam Taylor. Good and the passing it to Tipper. Tipper will line up now to give him a 19 point lead. They're really starting to run all over us. And he's kicked it. Obviously, not what we want him. Back in the middle to resume play. Right, thumped it clear. Made the tricky bounce look easy. Steady oh, Ash out bumped by Tip. Tipper is killing us. Is he, I think he's lined up for his third of the game. Not what we wanted at all. And he slotted it. Frustrating. Good bump by Brun. Looks like he bumped and ended up getting the ball. Finlayson mops it up, gets tackled. Daniels mops it up, pushes it in the back. Oh, there we go. Come on, Hogan. Oh, he's dropped it. Green's picked it up and tackled. And then one of their players picked it up and got tackled. And Brun kicks the snag. Come on. I've just heard Brun kick both our goals. No, he hasn't because he's the one he dribbled. But he hasn't picked up. Good tackle. Flynn gets tackled. Oh, that was a good shepherd there by whoever that was in the end, actually. Punch it over Davis. Davis, come on, you're in front of him. How are you going to let him mark that? Disappointing there from Davis. Laverde lines up. Surely he doesn't kick that drop punt. What? Alright. 25 point lead for Essendon. Now that I think about it, actually not too hard to drop punt now in a while, so. Surprised by that. Kick it long, Cornelio. Come on, good bounce, good bounce, good bounce. Oh. A point on the siren. Down by four goals at half time. We've been pretty disappointing to say the least. Tiffin Wood has absolutely destroyed us. Alright, let's hope for a better second half. Good tap Mumford. Straight to their player though. Good bump by Kennedy. Picked up by Perryman. Go Perryman. Has the room to run. Hands it to the ball. Hands it to Hogan, one more handball, but he's been bumped and he just let the ball spill. Hands it out. Oh my god, what is happening? I've choked this place so bad. Off the deck, Toby Green kicks the snag in the end anyway, but wow, did I choke it out of what? Alright, good way to start the second half. Come on, Kelly, over the top spoil. Good stuff. Ball going back in our direction here, but just not far enough because their tackle pressure is insane. They've got someone open over the back. Peter Wright, Phil Davis, come on. Oh, Phil Davis hasn't been great so far. Should have got that spoil earlier on right and just decided not to stick on him there. And Wright kicks it. We're actually looking all right then as well. Oh, their tackle pressure was amazing then. Go, Ward, go, Ward. Gonna have to kick it again, Chase, mate. Reed out bumps and he takes the mark. Come on, Reed. You can't miss this, Reed. Oof, I nearly did, but he slots it. Essendon lead down to 17. His first goal of the game and of the season. Oh no. Come on, Ash. Why didn't it bump off? No, frustrating, but anyway. And all that effort we put into kicking a goal, we had like probably five inside 50s is how much effort we put into kicking a goal, just for them to literally instantly kick a goal back. Got old mate wide open, spoiled over the back to him. Okay, but he chose to not stay down. Finn Layson gets tackled, but he gets the kick out just in time. We've kicked another snag back. Now we need to just not let them instantly kick a goal back. Great tackle. Go Reid. Gives the hands over. Hopper goes back to him. Reid goes over the top to Ward. Come on. On the quick quick uh, counter attack here. Got someone long making a lead but I've completely aimed it wrong. And to mark for Cody Brand. Mark that. Good. Long in. Mark that Finlayson. No. 
three goals down at three quarter time and honestly we have not been great at all today uh, we did win that quarter though so that's handy but we need to win this next quarter by at least three goals so it's not looking great for us Especially you can see we only kicked five goals all game. Oh, we nearly perfectly hit it down the midfield. How yeah, does Paris take the mark over the top of the pack? Don't, I'm, I'm frustrating. Frustrating. I flick the right joystick to bump and it still just doesn't bump. That's annoying and they go back and take a four goal lead. We have been absolutely woeful here today. Up Western players, bowl up inside our 50. We it's down by four goals, and we just don't have enough time to get four goals to We've only kicked three all game. And Nathan Mops Love gets tackled. I mean, five all game, sorry, not three. Come on, Cornelio. Yes, Cornelio. That was actually a pretty good goal there. Just picked it up instantly on the boot and it's through the big sticks. Now, come on, boys. If we get another quick one here, we're still half a chance. We've gone straight in the middle, but I've missed the bump. What was I doing there? I aimed it completely wrong. Oh my lord. Across the goals he goes. Marked by Finn Layson. That was a risky kick there. Finn Layson will line up now for his second of the game. He's got to kick this. And he does. Come on. And I believe the first player in our team to kick two today. Come on, boys. We're now down by just two goals. Okay, we've got someone making the lead down there. It's Finn Layson. Good tackle, get the clearance, he does, go to ball, go to ball, Dwarm mops it up, runs in, traditionally just a goal, he's kicked it, I don't know what has happened here from us, but we have just absolutely gone up another level, I have absolutely no clue what's happened, but we are on now, Tips on the ground, picks up, push in the back, free kick, Taylor, goes long, Finn Lacing under it, doesn't even try and take the mark in the end, Go Mumford. Go Davis. Picks it up. And Gleason tackles him high. Reed will line up to level the scores. And I think I've shanked it. He hasn't. Through the big sticks and the scores are level. Big goal there from Reed. And I mean, yeah, they just gave away a couple of sloppy free kicks there, Essendon. Oh, kick it, kick it, kick it. Go tackle, come on Kelly, out the middle, out the middle, Reed, goes up, gets the ball to ground, Braun, Braun on his opposite, kicks a snap to give us a lead late in the game, oh Braun, gives his second goal of the game, oh my god, there's definitely of course still enough time for either team to absolutely win this, but, I mean, wow, great smother, great tackle, there's not long left now, if they kick a goal now, I will be absolutely heartbroken. But they won't. Cal Ward can take a bounce, chip it over the top to Toby Green. He'll take his 30. The siren sounds here at Giant Stadium. Toby Green, to, just for percentage now, to give us a two goal win. And he's slotted it. I do not know what just happened. <laughs> Wait, did they even score in the last quarter? Wow, I, I, did they even score in the last quarter? They kicked one goal in the last quarter to our six. I honestly thought, even though we were only down by three goals, I honestly thought it was going to be impossible for us to win it from there. Wow. That is insane. Josh Kelly killed it. Yeah, he definitely takes home my three. My three, Kelly, and I'll, I'll quickly do the... What a game in the end, and honestly, what a surprise. I mean, wow. I did not expect to win that at three quarter time. And to be quite honest with you, um, I thought I was insane now, yeah, but no, it was in, that was insane. Bloody Daniels didn't even kick a goal actually. But yeah, that was an awesome win. And normally last quarters is where we're quite bad, but we're absolutely awesome there. Um, and yeah, of course. And the weirdest thing was, like, I'm not even kidding now. Like when I say it's now, I didn't change any of the sliders. Like. Sometimes when I'm playing by myself and I'm losing, you know, that much on just like um my um 
my own career mode, I like changed the sliders a bit, but I actually didn't because I thought, you know, why would I? I mean, it's not like we really need this win, but but yeah, no, and then we ended up somehow making a, a massive comeback in the air because Daniels didn't kick any goals that game. He's only now got a four goal lead in the Coleman. All right, next next um, game we go up against Richmond, which will be a very big challenge. They're six and two. They've won their last three in a row. Fourth on the ladder. Cats lost another game in a row. I uh, lost another game. Wow. All right. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.